What's up everyone, it's Ice Minors, aka J, and in today's video, I got for you guys the final, supposedly, DLC for Battlefield Hardline, Betrayal. So, from the outside, it seems to be your standard DLC with swords added. Yes, that's right, there will now be swords in Battlefield, we're going chivalry for some reason. There are also some new maps including Alcatraz, Cemetery, Chinatown, and Thin Ice. Alcatraz will probably be the most interesting one. We have seen some screenshots regarding the maps. There's also two more vehicles and added customization options for weapons and uniforms. Seems to be the standard asset of things, right? I guess the thing that most stands out out of all of that is the swords. And, you know, the question will also come regarding this DLC. Will it bring fans back? I don't think so. Like the other DLCs have they've come out. It didn't really affect the popularity of the game on a general scale just because premium costs so much. It costs more than the actual game itself, which is a uh which is quite odd, um, and I don't think it really will overall on a general scale affect the popularity, but the people who do play it will probably enjoy it at least for a few days, because after a few days, especially on PC, you won't probably even have the option to play on these anymore because of the low player counts. Not to go back and forth between topics, but I'm curious how the swords will actually work in the game. Well, it's got to be balanced, right? Because if it's going to be used in the same slot as the knives, it's got to be just as powerful as the those ones, or will it be a primary weapon where you run around and just chop people up? I don't know how it's going to work. We don't know until we actually see it in game. Now, uh, I believe that people have had the chance to play the CTE, but I haven't actually seen any footage of it going into this. So, if there's any of you out there who know how the swords are going to work, please let me know in the comment section below, or how you would like them to work. That is also an interesting discussion point as well. And this brings me on to my next topic is will it be the final DLC because in the premium package for Battlefield Hardline we know that this is going to be the fourth which is the final one but knowing that Battlefield 4 has had additional DLC on top of it it could be well possible that we see more DLC on top of this one for Battlefield Hardline. This DLC also includes 11 new weapons by the way and some server presets uh, the 11 new weapons will be interesting for the gun nuts out there who like to try out a bunch of different weapons. Uh, that'll be something that you can try out and mix and match. And out of those 11 weapons, you're almost going to be certain to find a really good one. They're definitely going to put in a really powerful weapon to drive DLC sales, to drive them selling premium. So I wouldn't be shocked if you see an overpowered weapon in this DLC. It's happened before in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. It just happens generally because they want to make their sales and they'll put in that overpowered weapon intentionally to do that. So overall, for the fans of Battlefield Hardline, this will be a decent DLC. Uh, I'll probably review it, I'm not exactly sure yet, depending on a number of factors, but uh, let me know in the comments section below what you think about it. I don't know, I think overall it's going to uh, please the current players who are playing Hardline, but it's not really going to bring anyone back just because of the fact that again, the premium is just too expensive for the general players to try out. What I think they should do though is maybe get one or two of these maps and put it in the vanilla game so everybody can play it. But that's just my thoughts. Again, leave yours in the comment section below. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.